In this video, we are going to be learning how to install Splunk Enterprise on Kali Linux. So let's get started. I will first open my browser and go to google.com and search for Splunk. Click on the first link which says www.splunk.com. When you are on this page, on the upper right corner, you will see free Splunk. Click on it and you will be in this account registration page. If you do not already have an account, create your account by giving your details here. If you already have an account, click here to log in. After you have created your account and logged in, go to your dashboard by clicking on my dashboard. When you're on this page, scroll down and click on Splunk Enterprise. Here you have the option to download for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. I will select Linux and choose the .deb file. So I'll click here to download the file. And now you will be in the license agreement page. So I will click here to agree to the license and click on access program. And your file will start downloading. Wait for the download to get completed. After the download has completed, I will open the folder that my file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded. I will right click in the folder and click open terminal here. I am in the downloads directory of my terminal. Here if I give ls, I can see this is the file that just got downloaded. Now I have to install the file. So I will type the command sudo space dpkg space dash i space the name of the file. I will type sp and tap to autocomplete and press enter. Type the password for my user and press enter and now I can confirm that my installation has been completed we can now start using splunk but for that we need to move to the splunk bin directory so I will type cd space forward slash opt forward slash splunk forward slash bin and press enter as you can see I'm in the bin directory right now in this directory I will type the command sudo space dot forward slash splunk space start space dash dash accept dash license this option will accept the user license agreement and start Splunk. So press enter. And now you have to search your administrator username. You can call it anything you want. I will call it admin and press enter. And now you have to set your password. So I will set my password and press enter. I will confirm my password by typing again. And now I can confirm that my Splunk has been started and it is hosted on port 8000. So I will open my browser and go to localhost colon port 8000 and press enter and now I can access the web interface I will type the username admin and the password that I just said earlier and now I can confirm that I can log in successfully so this is how you install Splunk on Kali Linux I will just do one configuration I will click on settings and select server settings here on the server settings tab I will click on general settings and I will make sure that all the traffic goes through SSL so I will select from no to yes and click on save after saving, we get a message that we have to restart Splunk for the changes to take place. So I'll click on this link and then under restart Splunk, click on this button, click on OK. Click here to continue and my Splunk is being restarted. After a while, I will refresh the page, click on advanced and click on accept the risk and continue. I have to give my username again and my password. And now I'm logged in again, but this time I have my own certificate. So as you can see, this is the certificate. So this is just a video on how to install Splunk on Kali Linux. I will not go into further details in this video. In a future video, I will show you how to use Splunk. So if you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel.